lady and the mother-in-law, Mama Lydia Akaya. That's Pastor Ferdinand Akaya's wife. That's the song that saved Pastor Ferdinand from dying. That was the song Abu Lydia they were singing. She was pregnant with the pastor. She was two months pregnant. And this same song saved the life of the pastor. This same song saved the life of the pastor. This song saved the life of the pastor. They had a drastic accident. Everybody died. The Abu Lydia was saved. She had no scratch on her body. This same song. So God knows that it was a Messiah was coming. The man of God that would save the world. It was coming. This same song was coming to save the world. My people, my people, my people, welcome to, um, thank you for turning to this channel. My name is Marindo. Today, happy Mother's Day to all the Mother's Day. Today we have a special girl, a girl. She is called, she's the first lady of the church, God Power Healing Ministry. She's a marvelous person and you're going to hear from yourself. She is called Lady Lawanda Akaya from God Power Healing Ministry. So you, where is God Power Ministry? Cause somebody was in forty nine eighty three, Austell Road in Austell, Georgia three zero one zero six. That's in the United States of America. Yes, yes in the U.S. Al Atlanta, Georgia, yes, Austell. Okay. Yes, the Peach State. Your husband is Pastor Ferdinand Akaya. Okay. So, um, who is the mother, first lady? We say mother Amen. because this Mother's Day, people are just rejoicing. Mother, yes. mother, what what will you say? We say yes, mother. Yes, you know, my definition of a mother is a God fearing mother, and a God fearing mother is someone who is selfless, protective, caring, enthusiastic, creative, intelligent, beautiful, one that fears the Lord. And one, like the book of Proverbs say, in the book of Proverbs 14, train up your child to go. So when they get old, they will not depart. And so that is my definition of a God-fearing mother. Because anybody, as I say, can be a mother. But we're talking about God-fearing mothers. And we need more God-fearing mothers. So um, First Lady Lawanda, mm -hmm. Akaya, yes. uh, what is the benefit of being a mother? The benefits of being a mother is joy is peace if it's with jesus there because without christ nothing can happen there will be no peace there will be no joy there will be no happiness so as long as you keep jesus in the center of it all it's just a blessing all in itself so as a mother of this a uh, huge church where your part, you, you and your husband control um are over like the lord have put you guys over in georgia um what has been the challenge as a first lady in the church because you're the mother of everybody so what has been one of your greatest challenge there is many challenges um first i would say just the disrespect that the people do not have when it comes to the house of the lord there's no respect to god people say and do whatever they want to do people minimize the man of god people talk any kind of way they are rude, they are obnoxious, and you have to realize that 
the church is a hospital. Christian, just like Christians, it's Christians, right? And I understand it is a hospital. But when you come to Jesus, when you come to Christ, the first thing we must do as believers, we have to repent. But we, because we're coming out from an evil world into the house of the Lord, so we must repent first and foremost. And then Jesus would shine upon us. You're right. So it's, it's, it's a tough, it's tough to be Christian, especially in this day and age when social media is just everywhere and anything that the man of God do, people are ready to minimize, they're ready to mock, they're ready to laugh, they want to see power. Um, that's very true. Um, what will you um, give a young lady who is there saying, I want to marry the pastor, a pastor, a pastor, you know, back then when you're little, when you're getting married to a pastor, everybody now knows pastors were church rats. Obviously, we broke people, but now even in the secular world, mm -hmm. they admire pastors because mm -hmm. pastors have become one more than even medical doctors. Everybody. True. So, what would you say? Um, someone looking a young girl praying, "Oh God, give me a pastor as a husband." Mm -hmm. Look at the first lady. You know, they say they always see the glory, but they don't mm -hmm. know the story true. behind. True, true. So, what would you tell them? The first thing I would tell them first, they have to see God. They have to begin to pray and seek God. And then they have to also remember that they have to change inward because God is not going to give them one of his servants who is God-fearing and they're not broken and they don't fear him. It would never happen. They will meet an angel of darkness who have transformed into the angel of light. Amen. So the True. first and foremost thing, they're gonna have to repent and they're gonna have to seek God's face. Did you pray for a pastor uh, for your husband? Yes, I prayed. No, did you pray that God give me a pastor as a husband? Didn't, I did not pray. All I asked the Lord for, because I was in the world. So all I wanted, and I was sick and tired of being in the world. I was broke, busted, couldn't be trusted, and I wanted a new life. So when many, many years ago, when I gave my life to Christ, so I how, asked. How long have you going to be married? May 21st will be 16 years. Wow. That's a long time, still yes, with one person. Yes, 16 Never years. divorced. Never, Never nothing, separated. Nothing. No, so what's the secret behind change. Keeping Jesus in the middle. If Christ is there, <laughs> nothing can go wrong. Young guys, you listening? What's the secret behind Jesus, oh, keep Jesus in the middle. Oh, Lord, Amen. give us. Because we've been married mm -hmm. like for five years. Mm -hmm. Listen to you getting my almost like mm -hmm. two decades. Like, like almost 20 yes, years. Yes. 20 years because you guys have yeah. been... We've been so together right now. 19 years. Right, 19 years and married for 16 this is May 21st. Wow, that's powerful. Yes, yes. So what would you say, what what would you tell a young girl the secret behind your marriage? And she had to repent first and foremost. Because as I said, the Lord would not give one of his servants to someone who is not broken, who does not fear him. So first and foremost, repent. And you have to truly seek his face. And don't go on your own strength looking. You have to wait on the Lord. And he will bring the pastor to them. Yeah, we know as a first lady, because you're the, the pastor is the head. Mm -hmm. You, you're the neck, as I always say. That. So, no, my, my neck mm -hmm. control my head. Mm -hmm. So you are the one controlling. So the bonding of the church mm -hmm. is upon the first lady. Mm -hmm. Although they are behind, they don't see them. The pastor is shining. The, the grace of the pastor come from the first lady because if you're broken the head will broken so you have a major role to play as a pastor's wife yes so how how have that been in that moment that that aha moment that your husband is then like is breaking down so who, how do you do as a first lady all i can do is just pray for him because as you say it is it's very challenging and and i see him go through so much and nobody will understand in the middle of the night he just jumps up and we have to wake up and pray because the Lord didn't give him a vision about somebody and it's tough because as I say people minimize men of God you know when people come into the house of the Lord for instance there was a couple come up in here with alcohol there was another alcohol alcohol in a in church in church true life story true life story in wow. a house of law alcohol there was another young man that it was a bible study wanted to fight the pastor 
got up and wanted to fight. Fight in church. Fight, fight the pastor as he was preaching oh, for messy. Bible study. So it's hard and to see that people lives not changing. And you know, the book of Hebrews 13 says that we shouldn't make their burden lighter because pastors have to watch out for our souls Amen. and he must give an account of every soul of every soul Amen. so it's heartbreaking when people lives not changing they're rude they still like if they're in the world but they're in the house of the lord so it, I, I don't like to see him go through that and all i can do is pray for him and i just ask god every day to protect and give him strength to continue to do his work because Amen. it's his work that he's doing and we're Amen. doing it together Amen. First lady, mm -hmm. it was wonderful having yes, you yes. um in to come and visit us once more. But before you left, can you tell us like where are you guys located? Your address? Yes. Somebody might be watching um the um online and they want to connect. I know you guys come on YouTube yes. as God Power Healing Ministry. Yes. It's underneath the screen you're going to see. And your guys come on Facebook yes. as God Power Healing Ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you give them the address, yes. people who are located in, in Atlanta? Once again, the address is 4983 Austell Road in Austell 30106. And Tuesdays is Wisdom Night. Fridays is Bible Study. And of course, Sundays, 1030 is Church Service. So you, you guys come live? Yes, we'll be live on pretty much all those days. On Facebook? On Facebook, yes. Mainly Facebook. And we upload videos to YouTube. Okay. And can I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Can you give them number that they can call? Yes, the phone number is 678-398-0036. Oh, First Lady, it was nice having you. And your husband's name is? Reverend Pastor Ferdinand Akaya. This is my site, you can see. Man, praise the Thank Lord. you very much for turning into yes. our channel. Amen. My name again is Marindo. Amen. See you in my next video. And next time we are going to bring the first lady Amen. and the husband. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you very much. Happy Mother's Day to all Happy the mothers. Mother people. Happy Mother's Day.